Hello, um, I'm Luna and today we're going to teach you some knots. Um, I'm going to start out with pretty basic knots, but first I'm going to talk about um, the proper terms that involve making knots and such. So you have your rope um, and I have a bunch of rope right here because I'm going to teach a fair amount of knots. Um, and when you're using your rope, there are different terms for certain things. So when you're making your knot, you're using usually one end of your rope and that's called your working end. And then the end that you're not using is called your standing end because it's just standing there on the ground. And then you have things like your loop and this can be overhand or underhand. You also have your um, bite, which is just sort of like a bend in your rope like this. So it's not a loop because it's not crossing at any point. Um, so those are sort of the terms that are really handy when you are learning knots and also trying to help someone do a knot. So there are um, different kinds of knots and I'm going to go through those real quick. So one kind of knot is known as a bend and those are used to secure either like two ends of rope together or um, there are some that help you secure like objects together. So that's one type of knot. And then you have decorative knot, which I'm not really gonna show you today. That's like more high tech really. Um, so you can work your way up to those. There are hitch knots, which are used to um, secure a rope around something like a tree or a railing or something like that. So it holds tight. You have a loop, which is, you just create a loop in the rope and that can be used for a couple of different things. And then the last kind of knot is a stopper knot, which um, usually prevents the entire rope from going through something that you don't want it to. So like it secures it through a hole or something like that. So the first two knots I'm gonna teach you are two stopper knots and they're um, some of the simpler knots, I think. So the first one is just a regular overhand knot and that's a knot that you use pretty much every day. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your working end and you're gonna bend it so that you have the bite and you're gonna make an overhand loop and just bring your working end, poke it through the front and you have an overhand knot. Pretty simple, you use that for a lot of things. Um, tying your shoes is an overhand knot, just keeping um, like a rope from going through something and it stops it real quick and it's um, tight too. So like the harder you pull, the tighter it gets. Um, the second kind of stopper knot I'm going to show you how to make is a figure eight. And I'm just gonna use the same rope. So I'm switching and I have a new working end now. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna make your bite. I'm gonna give myself a little bit of a longer one. And then you're gonna take your working end, make an overhand loop like this. See that and then you're gonna wrap it around so that it also makes a underhand loop and you have this weird figure eight if I can get it hold on like that so you have an eight Is that can you see that so and then you're gonna take your working end bring it around the front again and just poke it through the top so that you have something like this and you pull tight, and that's your figure eight. Can you see that? Okay, and those are stopper knots. Okay, so now I'm gonna teach you um, two different hitches, and the first one is called a cow hitch, and this is good to use if you want to do something like put two ends of rope together that you wanna take apart later pretty quickly. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna make your bite like this, and they can be pretty even, and you're just gonna take um, anything I'm just using a stick and um, you'll take it around the back and you have your bite here and all you do is you take both of your working ends and you're gonna pull them through the loop that you have and just pull tight like this and then right there if it stops moving is your cow hitch like so all right so that is a cow hitch. Okay, so the second hitch I'm going to teach you is called a clove hitch, and this is 
um, really good to use if you're trying to tie your boat up to a dock. So um, you always have to do it around something. So again, I have my handy dandy stick. And what you do is you have the back of your rope around it and you're going to make an X like this. And I always use my finger to sort of keep my um, X in place. And my red end is gonna be my working end. So you're gonna wrap it around again, still keeping your X right here. And you have it again. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your um, end and you're gonna basically just replace your finger. So it's gonna go behind the X that you have and then also um, like through the other side. And then you're just gonna pull it tight. And sometimes you have to um, pull it up higher and then sort of smush it together and then you have your clove hitch. And the good thing about this is again, um, when you're pulling it apart, like away from each other it just stays tight but then to loosen it it's just a pretty easy pull apart and you're good okay so the next kind of bed knot i'm going to teach you is a fisherman's knot and true to its name it's used a lot when it comes to fishing so it has a lot of different purposes that way um, and one of them is to tie fishing line together so how you're going to do it is you're going to need two ropes for it and you're going to make a loop with one so that it looks a little bit like this and then um, I'm going to move my loop down a little bit and then you're going to take your other rope and you're just going to stick it through your little loop making sure that it's going the same way as your working end and you're going to pull it tight so you have one knot like that and then you're going to come to your other end and since we started out with the red to make our loop on this end, you are um, also gonna use our red end on the other side um, because you wanna make sure that you're making a knot using um, both of the ropes and not just the same knot on the same rope. So again, you're just gonna make your loop again, a little farther down. down a little bit and then you're just going to take your um, other rope again poke it through the hole going the same direction and then you're going to pull tight and then you have um, your fisherman's knot so you have two knots at the same end and the good thing about this is you can actually um, move them closer together like how I just did so you'll just pull one end and you have this weird loop thing and then you just pull the other side and now your knots are closer together and that is a fisherman's knot. The last types of knots that I'm going to teach you are the loop knots. And the first one of the two I'm going to teach you is a slip knot. And this is really easy if you want to just tie something around a tree or you need a pretty easily adjusted rope or just a rope that's super easy to take out because this does all of that. So what you're going to do is you're going to make another loop um, like so. Just like that and then um, you're gonna take what was your standing end and with the rope that's leading behind so this is an underhand loop you're gonna take it make sure that it's wrapped around and you're just gonna poke it through so that it's going in the same direction as your um, starting working end and then you're just gonna pull like so and then you have this really super easily adjustable knot and it can just go one way or the other and then if you ever want your knot to come out all you have to do really is just hold um, the knot and then find your looser end and just keep pulling and it'll come out and there you have it the last type of knot that I'm going to teach you is a bowline and this is good um, for if you're trying to make clothesline or even um, if you're trying to tie a bedroll, the way you're going to do it is um, you're going to make a six 
but you want to make sure that it is um, like this so your standing end is going to be under where your working end is so we have our six like so best way to remember it is you have a bunny coming out of the hole they're going to go around the tree and then they're going to go right back down into their hole and you're going to pull and that is the bow line and you know that it's a bow line when it looks like that and then you have this nice little loop so those are all of our knots i taught you um two of each so it was two loops two hitches two stoppers and two bends so um now you can use these knots and keep practicing and then you will eventually um, be able to learn lashing which is very handy to have when camping so bye